What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm super excited because we're going to be trying out a brand new product that I literally just got in the mail today. I am so excited. And it is the Tati Beauty Blendy Full. So I literally have not even opened the package yet because I wanted to open it firsthand like on camera so you guys could get my real raw first impressions. So I haven't seen, played with, touched anything. The actual product, this is literally just what I received in the mail. But this definitely is a product that I am interested to see how I like it because it is a makeup tool so we're basically going to be using it to apply our makeup. And I will say that I I'm very loyal to my beauty sponges because basically Tati was saying with this new Blendyful product, it can basically be used for like both liquid products as well as powder products. So typically any liquid product I use a beauty sponge for and then if I'm going to be going in with a powder, I'll use a brush for it. So I'm definitely very interested to see how this works because I am very loyal to my sponges and that is literally all I ever use basically for like cream or liquid products on my face. So we're going to be testing this bad boy out today. Be sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you can be notified of all of my future uploads and without further ado let's go ahead and get started all right so let's go ahead and open this up you guys see the packaging and on the back there is cleaning instructions um so so you can machine wash this or you can hand wash it i will definitely probably hand wash it um not like actually machine wash it but you can if you want to and then inside you get your little puffs. So this is what they look like. You do get two, which is great. And the retail price is $18 on these, which is I think a pretty good price because you are getting two products. And if you compare that to like a beauty blender, beauty blenders are 20 bucks. So they're actually coming in a little bit cheaper than the typical product that I use to apply my foundation and makeup with. And again, this is supposed to be multi-purpose, so I should be able to technically use this for both my foundation, my concealer, as well as my powders. Where the Beauty Blender, I really just use that for like liquid products. Um, so this is the main Blendy Full. This is really, really big, um, and it feels very, very nice. It's a very, very soft feeling. Um, so, I mean, it feels really nice on my face. A little nervous about how this is going to apply product, to be completely honest. Um, it's feels like like a stuffed animal or something like a nice soft stuffed animal which isn't you know exactly what I would typically think like oh let me apply my foundation with this um but I'm really interested to see how it works and you basically just like slide you know your fingers in there and I guess go on your face um and then when I was watching Tati's video she was explaining how to use it she kind of folds it like this I think she was saying like to do like her concealer which that actually feels pretty nice like it feels normal to have it folded it folds very easily it's very bendable um, so that's pretty cool. And then this is the little baby one. So this basically talked to you was saying is great for like on the go. This one definitely is like firmer than the big one, which is interesting. Um, you can definitely tell this one has a little bit more firmness to it, but let's see if we can still like kind of fold it. Yeah, it definitely can still be folded though. Completely fine. Definitely just is a little bit firmer. Like the actual feeling of the material is the same, but this one seems like it almost has like a like stuffing in it or something where this one is like less. I don't know. But then Tati was also saying you can just use this one throughout the day to like press in your makeup to your skin like this. So we're going to be trying that out. I'm really excited. I don't know where to start. Okay, I'm going to put my hair back and then we're going to start with primer because she did say you could use primer with it. So let me just get this hair out of the way. Okay, so in Tati's video where she revealed the product, she did suggest if using it with a primer to use a pore filling primer, not like a moisturizing one, because she was like, you know, moisturizing primers you could just apply with your fingers. Um, so I actually typically do use moisturizing primers just because I am dry, but I love pore filling primers as well. So I grabbed this one. This is from Tarte. This is the Shape Tape Pore and Prime Balm. And so normally when I use this, I will just put my finger in and then apply it, but we're gonna use this today and see if it makes a difference. So I'm gonna go in. I like, I don't know how I feel about it. It's like interesting. Um, and I'm gonna just get some on here, not too, too much, and just like press it into my skin. All right, looks pretty nice. I mean, again, this is something that I typically would do with my fingers, so, you know, it doesn't make that big of a difference, but your fingers are always going to have a little bit of oil and stuff on them, so this is great to be using like a different kind of product for it. And it is like blending it into my skin very seamlessly. So I can't complain about that. But again, this is likely a product that I would use more so for like foundation, concealer, stuff like that, as long as I like it. I feel like with primers, I will honestly probably continue to use my fingers. Just because I'm a creature of habit, I don't know. But I mean, it applied it really well, felt nice on my skin, so I don't have any complaints 
thus far. Okay, so now we are gonna go in with foundation, which is really what I am most interested to see, like how this works with my foundation. Um, I'm not quite sure if you're technically supposed to like apply the foundation to your hand and then like dip this in and then apply to your face, or if you can apply the foundation to your face and then blend it with this. Because typically like with foundation, I will like put some on my finger, like there's a pump. I'm just using the Too Faced Born This Way. Um, and I'll like spread it out, you know, a little bit on my face with my finger like so. And then I would go in with a sponge. Like I don't, I'm not one of those people that like apply my foundation to the back of my hand and then like dots the sponge and then goes on the face. I like to apply it directly to my face. I feel like that's how I get like maximized use of the product. So I'm going to try it and see how that works with this. And then I can do it with my hand on the other side and see if it makes a difference. I don't know if I'm supposed to be tapping or like sliding. So we're going to go in and tap first. Because if I was using a beauty blender, I would be tapping. Hmm. Okay. This is working pretty well, actually. No complaints. And I am kind of just using the same area that I had the primer on. I mean, I don't really think it's like an issue. And I'm just kind of tapping it into my skin. I don't know. The tapping feels better to me than like, oh. I guess you can slide it actually. Like the sliding doesn't feel weird. It just like is like gliding over it. But I feel like the tapping gives a little bit fuller coverage look. So I think I'm going to continue with the tapping. It looks pretty good though. I mean, it blended it out beautifully and actually very fast. So I can't complain about that. And honestly, I think it worked completely fine with me applying the foundation to my skin first. Um, so I'm just going to continue to do that on this, this side because that is typically how I apply my foundation. So just going to go in and apply it directly to my face. Okay, so on this side, I'm kind of wiping it. That works, but I feel like the tapping is going to give you that fuller coverage. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> and I also feel like when I tap it, it's not getting as much product like on this. And it's more just like tapping the product into my skin. Like that is giving me a really full coverage finish, which is what I like. Because even if I used brushes, which I don't typically do, like flat top kabukis and stuff, I've never been like one of those like dragger kind of people with the flat top kabuki. I'm always kind of like a buffer inner um, <laughs> when it comes to makeup, just because I like to maximize coverage. So I would suggest tapping if you want to maximize that coverage. All right, we're going to go in just with like a half pump on my forehead to blend that out. Now my forehead, because I already did my eyes and my brows and stuff, is a smaller area. So I might try and like kind of fold this so it's not as big up there. Yeah, that works a bit better. I mean, I could use the little blender sponge too, you know, because you don't have to just use that for travel. You could, of course, just use that every day if you have like smaller areas. Maybe when we do our concealer, I'll use that, the smaller one. And that might work a little bit better for us. But this actually, you know, bends super easily. It's very bendable. So that works actually really nice to blend this out. It actually is nice though that it has this point on it. Because like even if you went under, like I have obviously like my winged liner. But it just like goes really well. So you can get those precise lines. And then Tati was saying in her video that you could kind of go like this. And really get in like around the corners of your nose and stuff. Because um, I always do go in with like the pointy tip of my beauty blender to do that. Because a lot of times like product will sit there if you don't. At least on me it will. So this is actually nice. Like I actually like folding it more than I thought that I would. And it folds really, really easily. So it's very easy to kind of maneuver to wherever you want to go. And then I'm just going to blend it down underneath my chin as well. Just so we don't have any harsh lines. This thing is really soft, honestly. I'm sorry I keep calling it a thing. The Blendyful, um, which the name is so cute, is actually very, very soft. So it feels, it feels very nice and like gentle on your skin. So it's not like pulling at your skin or anything at all. Um, honestly, it feels really, really nice. I have to say so far, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I didn't really know what to think. Like I thought that it was going to be like, okay, but I didn't really think that I was going to like love it. But now I'm kind of like, okay, like this is actually like really good. I don't know. I like it. Um, I am going to go in with concealer. So I'm going to go with Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade a Light Medium. You guys know I love this. I do have a Tarte affiliate code. It is code Kelly. So you guys can use that for 15% off of your order. So the concealer, the primer that I use all are from Tarte. You can use code Kelly to save some coins if you would like. Um, but I'm going to go in with this on my under eyes and then we are going to blend it out. I'm going to save the little one, use that for powder. And I'm going to continue to use the bigger one for liquid products. I'm going to like separate them. So I'm not using one for both liquid and powder, even though Tati says you can do that. She did say in her video that she personally does use two separate ones for her liquids versus her powder. So that's what I'm going to do today. And it's nice because you're getting two in your package anyway. So it's not like you have to pay for two like you are getting two. I'm going to bring a little of this down my nose as well. 
Okay, so I've used obviously a bunch of this with my foundation, so I'm going to fold it, but I'm gonna actually fold it on this top part here that has not any foundation on it and use that for my concealer just so we're not getting the two different shades mixed up and blend out my concealer with this. Wow, okay, this actually is like <laughs> really good. I don't know, I, I didn't really expect to like this as much as I feel like I'm vibing with this. I feel like it's giving me a much fuller coverage than a beauty sponge does, which I didn't really think that was gonna be the case. Like this is absolutely picking up products. I mean, you could see it on here. Yes, it's picking up product. Your beauty sponge picks up products. Really any tool that you use to apply your makeup is gonna pick up products, but I feel like this is picking up less product than my beauty sponge does because it's looking more full coverage on my face. Like I know how these products work typically with my beauty sponge because that's typically how I apply them, um, where I feel like I'm getting more coverage with this, which is quite interesting, because um, I would have kind of thought the opposite, that this would have picked up more product than the beauty sponge, especially because I do use my beauty sponge damp, which is, you know, what you're supposed to do to pick up the least amount of product, but this is like, I mean, obviously Tarte Shape Tape is a full coverage concealer, but this is like, honey, full, full, flawless coverage, so I am actually really, really vibing with this a lot. And folding it is super easy, like I said, like a hundred times, but I'm honestly just pretty shook. We are literally looking like a full coverage queen. And it blended everything out super, super flawlessly. And now I'm just gonna basically use the whole puff and just go over my face to make sure we don't have any harsh lines. But like, I mean, <laughs> looking pretty good. Like, wow. All right, Tati, I see you over there with your Tati Beauty line. I mean, honestly, I love I loved her eyeshadow palette. It's actually what I have on my eyes today. But this is actually very, very cool. And like, I mean, you know, like I said, you can see it's getting product on it, of course, but it blended out my product very, very nicely. All right, so I would definitely approve it to be used with liquids. Honestly, I think that it looks beautiful. Um, so no complaints on the liquids aspect. We are going to try it with powder now. I know Tati said in her video, she specifically was talking about using it with the Fenty powder, so I figured that I would grab that for my under eyes. This is the Pro Filter powder in the shade Butter. Um, so I'm going to use this on my under eyes to set them. And like I said, I think I am gonna try and use the little guy to do this. Let me see how this will best work. If I should use like the point or if I should like fold it. Maybe if I fold it like this, I feel like that that seems most natural to me. So I'm gonna fold it in half. This one looks like a little heart, it's cute, but I'm gonna fold it in half like that and just get some powder on it. And set my under eyes with it. So soft. Again, this is something I typically do with a brush but I'm just kind of pressing it into my skin. And it looks really nice. I'm not sure how this would work though with a pressed powder for underneath your eyes. I feel like it's more geared towards a loose powder um, underneath your eyes, not so much pressed if you use pressed powder. But with the loose powder, it's working pretty nicely. I got too much powder on the bottom part, so you have to make sure you get it like on the tip where you wanna use it. There we go. And this would also be great if you wanted to bake because you could definitely pack on a lot of product with this, but it is also like sinking the product into my skin because I don't typically bake just because my skin is a little drier. Oh, this Fenty powder smells so good. I'm obsessed. All right, that, I mean, that's worked really nicely. This one definitely, like I said, has that more firmer feel to it. For underneath my eyes with the powder, I thought that it worked really great. And you can definitely do it whole, like open this way too. I don't know, it just felt a little more natural to me to do it like this but it looks really nice. And then now to set all over my face, I'm gonna go in with the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Tinted Powder. Um, I really, really like this, especially if you have dry skin, I think you'll love it. And I'm gonna go in with the little guy, like flat out, and get my powder on there. And then just kind of press the powder into my skin. I know a lot of people use powder puffs. I mean, a lot of times like in with powders, they'll give you literally like a puff similar to this with the powder. I never use powder puffs, I always use brushes. But this feels really, really nice. And I mean, this is like obviously a lot a lot more luxurious than typically the puffs that they give you in these powders. Like a lot of times they're just like little circular like puffs. They're not like high quality like materials really, at least the ones that I've seen. So the powder's applying fine with the smaller one. I think it looks fine. I do wanna try and go back in though with the main one and see if I put powder on this, if it's gonna just like stick and get super messy to like the liquid that's already on here. Or maybe actually, I mean, I do have some free space so I can just use it up here because I didn't use the entire puff. So I'll go in with the free space and just kind of blot it on. Oh, you know what? 
Now that I'm using this one in comparison, I do prefer this one, like the less firm on the face. I feel like it just like feels a little bit nicer. The little one isn't like hard or anything, but I do prefer the bigger one, I think, the way that it feels. And I mean, I did have enough space to use it for foundation, concealer, and powder. And I mean, honestly, our face is looking like really good. <laughs> like it really looks nice. So I really can't complain like about that at all. This is actually really, really good. I wanna see with bronzer. I, I don't know how this is gonna work, but I have this bronzer right here. This is from Wonder Beauty. It's like a little kit. So I'm gonna put this, the smaller puff, in there, get the bronzer on. And kind of just place that on my cheek. Oh, looks pretty good. I'm just blending upwards while I'm doing that. A little contour action. This is actually blending it out really nicely. I used a bit more product on this side and now I'm kind of regretting it. Um, I feel like a little bit goes a long way. You don't have to use too, too much. But it is even blending out like the bronzer nicely. And I feel like everything this does, it's just very soft. Like it just blends it out really softly and seamlessly on your face. So I mean, literally on the back of the packaging, it says no harsh lines, exos Tati. And I mean, she's correct. Like this is alleviating harsh lines. It really is like giving a very, very flawless look and blending everything really, really nicely. And I'm just going back in, going over everything one last time. But I am honestly incredibly impressed with this. Like, I don't know, I didn't really think that it was gonna be revolutionary to be completely honest. You know, it's a makeup blending tool, so typically I don't get as excited about like tools as I would about like actual color cosmetics. Um, but your tools are incredibly important to how your makeup actually looks. I've always said that, I always will. You could have the absolute best foundation, the absolute best concealer, but having a quality product to apply it with is also incredibly important to how the finished look comes out. And I actually really, really liked this. I think that my face looks really, really good and it looks a lot more full coverage than it typically does with my beauty blender. And and you guys know I'm a full coverage queen, so I'm kind of like, okay, Blendyful, where have you been? Because I need to be using you like all the time now because I use these literally every single day. I specifically use products that I know how they work and how they look on my skin when I was using this so I could see the difference that the applicator makes and my face absolutely looks more full coverage than it typically does. So it has to be the Blendyful and the fact that this is kind of just seamlessly blending everything out. And yes, you know, this is gonna pick up products. So don't, you know, think that it's not like they're definitely is product on this, but it's not like all like caked up and stuff on there at all really. So it probably didn't pick up as much product as I would have initially thought that it would have. I would say the only real downside to this product is that I would definitely recommend cleaning this after each use. Like I wouldn't go in and use this like tomorrow and like leave this product sit on here and then go in tomorrow and use it. Like I would definitely clean it and then use it again. For me, I typically clean my beauty sponges before using them, but like typically I would like do my makeup today or whatever. And then when I go tomorrow to do my makeup and I'm wetting my beauty blender, I'll apply like brush cleanser or even like bar soap, whatever, just to get off that excess product on it because I'm using the beauty blender wet. So from that perspective, it's a little bit easier for me to clean my beauty blender because I'm already gonna be wetting it before doing my makeup where you are gonna want this to be dry. So you're gonna have to clean this after doing your makeup, if that makes sense. Like, like I will clean it today after doing my makeup for me to use tomorrow so I can let it sit overnight and dry off. I know Tati did say in her video that you could blow dry it. So if you're like, you know, short on time or whatever, you forgot to clean it the day before, you wanna use it, you could quickly clean it and then blow dry it. And I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people that are like, you're nuts, why would you be cleaning that in between every time? But I just do always do that. But that's really the only thing that I would would say as the main downside to this is that I would want a clean one every time I do my makeup so it is going to have to be clean but again I am already doing with the beauty sponges that I use so it, to me it's not really adding an extra step it's just changing when I'm doing that step but aside from that it is beautiful and that is absolutely not going to stop me from using this again because I think that my foundation my concealer my powder all looks really really nice and actually significantly better than it normally does so thank you Tati and thank you for the blendy pull because I really really like it so I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial and that it was helpful for you thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video bye